Welcome to Chrysanthemum painting video demonstration with watercolors. In this video, I will be showing the principles of how I paint big and complex flowers. I already applied lemon yellow to the whole flower head with bold brush strokes all over the flower head. Now I'm taking and putting paper towel underneath my arm and when the flower head is completely dry with a fine tip brush, I'm now painting each and every petal inside of petal using perlin maroon and alizarin crimson mix carefully looking at reference and noticing some minor changes where is the shadow part of that inner part of the petal and adding that but still it's just the first layer and i will be adding more while i while i will continue to paint other parts because when i will have an overall look i will understand by comparison where i need to add more pigment where i need uh, to leave it as it is light and this is the part the second part where i put this red pigment on the petals the underneath surface is completely dry it is a lemon yellow and was painted uh, with watery wash all over flower head now this is a really tiny and time-consuming work to paint each petal there's a lot of petals but this is a really interesting and complex and big project it will be a beautiful painting beautiful addition to home to home design and this video is just about showing you the process i'll be showing in uh, different stages of the painting process to show you approximately how i approach this bigger projects complex flowers I can't make this video from the start to the finish, it will take many, many hours, even days. This is um, really time consuming and requires a lot of patience, but it's worth a try. Amazing opportunity to learn a lot of things with brush strokes and tiny work on such a big surface. I will be doing the same with all flower head. Nothing uh, too complex, just apply on each inner part of petal this red color mix with the tip of the brush, repeating one petal at a time. It's just a matter of patience, nothing too complex here. It's just that those petals are very very so many <laughs>
slowly working and creating these leaves would like to show you how i done all the other leaves which are already done with this chrysanthemum I'm always putting a paper towel underneath my arm so I don't make some dirty spots on the white paper and carefully working my way to get more realistic, more deeper colors, shadow areas, working with the tip of the brush, carefully with the edges. Hope you got a little understanding of how I create a more complex works. This is really a challenging one. I would recommend um, for beginners to start a smaller project so you won't get uh, disencouraged with such a big and complex work. This painting is not uh, complex with technique, but with uh, patience and amount of work. Techniques repeats, uh, technique repeats itself over and over again. It's just patience and dedication to willingness to work on a bigger project. But first, if you are a newbie, a beginner, start with something smaller. Start or before taking a bigger project you can take a little piece of that co composition and work on it practice that's what i do before larger pieces i take a little piece work on it understand colors understand technique and then i proceed to bigger painting you can work on a, on separate leaf or on separate petals it's up to you but it really helps and makes the painting process go faster and smoother after practicing on little piece. Thank you for being here and watching this. And this is quite a interesting project. Learn a lot of new things to share with you in the future as well. Thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorials. Bye bye.